Let's talk about a pack that you might want to open up ASAP in Madden 24, as well as some potentially massive changes to presents before Christmas Day comes. Now, Soul Soul Sif family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this are having a wonderful start to your day. And without further ado, let's get into it. Hold up, hold up. Let's pick a Swift to Co winner from yesterday's video. If you didn't know, I'm giving away $1,000 worth of presents every single day up until Christmas Day. And the winner from yesterday's video is going to be F. One McLaurin 445. He says, please, number two, and happy holiday, Swift. And boys, drum roll, please. Present number two is going to be revealing $50 worth of Madden points. So hit me up, F1 McLaurin, to claim that free money. And let's talk about how you can win tomorrow. Because if you want to win a present in tomorrow's video, there are simply two buttons you need to click. Number one, you need to be subscribed to my channel. If you are not subbed to the channel and I pick your comment, you're not winning. You got to be subbed. And number two, go down to the comment section and comment a number of a present you want. On the screen is the board and what it's looking like, you can comment any number down there, so drop a comment. All right, now without further ado, let's start off by talking about what this entire video is kind of circulating around, and that's going to be the fact that people are suspecting, myself included, that we're going to be getting a training present reroll with the next release of Zero Chill. Now, if EA Sports does that, that will absolutely change the market. That will absolutely change really the entire landscape of Zero Chill, because as you can see right now, the only way I can get presents is either by playing solo challenges and playing through my field pass, which really only gives me a capped amount of presence. And then the other way is grinding the head-to-head -head event, which I'm not going to lie, is difficult. It's very, very difficult. I've got 24,000 snowflakes right now. I could get, yeah, 24 mystery presents. That's not insane, though, because in past years, people would rack up hundreds and hundreds of gifts. But boys, don't lose hope, because last year, the way EA Sports did presents in Zero Chill is they actually released a training reroll for gifts about a week before the presents opened up. If you don't know, presents open up on Christmas Day. They open up on the 25th, and I believe last year, EA Sports added a present reroll for training on the 15th. And conveniently enough for you watching this video, about three hours after this video goes live, EA Sports is going live on their Twitch account to reveal Go Samut. And with that reveal stream, I mix expecting that they'll probably also introduce a zero chill present reroll. There's just been so many people talking about this over on Twitter. So I think that's going to happen. Okay. Now, if that happens, the market is definitely going to change drastically. And let's talk about that change. And let's actually talk about the pack that I mentioned at the start of the video, because this is all going to tie into one another. If EA Sports releases a zero chill reroll in Madden 24, or at least reveals it tonight, the market is going to go up in price. So opening up packs right now isn't the worst idea in the world, because say, for example, I pull some players, I hold on to them for three hours and then their prices double, their prices go up by 1.5x, I can make coins. And the pack that I want to try out in today's video is the 2x Triumph Elite Special Offer, which I believe unlocks at level 30 or level 40. It costs you 130,000 coins. That's basically 65,000 coins per pack. We are going to try out both of these packs in this video. We'll continue talking about the presents as we open these up, but let's open up pack number one. And again, we're holding on to the players we pull because I'm thinking in a couple hours, EA Sports is going to go live and they're going to say, okay, we're adding a training reroll. If that happens, prices are going to go up quickly in the market. So I'm holding on to these players to sell them soon. So let's open up this Triumph Elite pack. Also, I'm not going to lie. This is really one of the only opportunities you have to open up this offer. If you wait and you wait until Christmas day, the market's going to go down a ton. So this is really one of the only few days we have before the market goes down. We pull an 86 Josh Allen, not really a great pull. There was only four cards inside this pack. 86 Josh Allen is not good for the headlining player. We need something good here. It's going to be a zero chill player. Please be good. 86 Elijah Wilkinson. So realistically, we probably lose coins on this unless the market goes up like crazy. I'm thinking we've got maybe 40,000 coins in value. We need 65K to break even. So the first pack is an L. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. But don't worry, boys. We have a second one to open up and that'll also suggest whether or not you should open up these packs in just a second after we open up pack number two. Back to back 86s is not good. Can this be better than an 86 right here? It's an 87. So it's a little bit better, but not by much. We still have some more cards remaining, though, thankfully. Hit it from the back. Y'all know how we operate. Card's going to be showing me an 87 Taylor Decker. So they were like, you know what? You complain about 86s. We'll give you straight 87s. That's not going to satisfy me, EA Sports. That's not going to satisfy me, EA Sports. 387s. And you know what? In terms of prices right here, 87s are selling for close to 20,000 coins. So I mean, maybe we break even. Now, should you open this pack up? It's interesting. I would honestly recommend you wait until tonight. I would recommend you wait until seven o'clock because if you see that, okay, we're getting a training green wall, the market's going up a ton. 
then rip the offer because 87s could go up to 30,000 coins, in which case you'd probably make profit on this. But if the market doesn't move up a ton and the market stays where it is right now, I don't even think this pack could make you profit. So that's kind of my thoughts on that offer. It's not amazing. Now let's also talk about how this ties in with snowflakes. Before we do that though, really quickly, as you can see, I'm repping my Pelicans jersey and I'm actually recording this after we lost to the Grizz, which is brutal. But talking about that Grizz game, Underdog Fantasy did have a Ja Morant 0.5 point special for Ja Morant for that game. And boys, they are doing specials all the way up until Christmas Day. So if you don't want to miss out on the fun over on Underdog Fantasy, the Saints are playing tomorrow. So you better believe I'm making some picks for that. And of course, there's going to be specials, I believe, every single day. So if you use code SWIFT, Underdog is a place where you can make picks just like the ones you see on the screen. If you want to get on the action, you want to have some fun, I'll leave it linked down below in the description. Use the promo code SWIFT as you are signing up to support me and get those specials. And let's keep on going with the video. Okay, now next up, let me talk about why I am saving my snowflakes. A lot of people have been asking me, SWIFT, why haven't you been spending your snowflakes. Well, here is what I'm thinking, boys. I am waiting to see if we get a training reroll. If we get a training reroll, I'm realistically going to be spending training on my presence. So I'll probably go through here and just get like a 93 overall zero chill champion. Maybe quick sell that and use the training to roll presence. Or maybe I'll go through here and pick up like a BND player. And the reason why that's the case is because I'm still going to get a bunch of presence with my training points. But if EA Sports doesn't add a present reroll, then I'm going to be going through and spending my snowflakes on presence. So if you guys have been asking me, oh, Swift, why are you waiting? Why are you holding on to your snowflakes. That's kind of my reasoning. I'm waiting to see if we get a training rule. I honestly recommend you do the same thing because that's kind of going to dictate our spending decisions. If there's a way to get presence with training, I'll probably get presence with training and use my flakes on 93s. If not, I'll just use my flakes on getting presence because there's no other way of getting them. And I think in that case, they'd be more valuable and they'd actually make them really good gifts. Now, another question that people are asking me is, should I go through and quick sell some of my presents? So say, for example, you've got like this simple present right here. Should you go through and quick sell it? I would say you probably should not. Typically, the way rerolls work in Madden 24 is the more you roll, the more you lose. So if I have this simple present right here and then I'm like, I'm going to quick sell this, I'm going to try and roll mystery presents, I would say like eight times out of 10, seven times out of 10, maybe six times out of 10, sometime in that like six to eight time out of 10 range, you're going to be losing out. The majority of the time you're losing out. That's just the way rerolls work in this game. So if you have presents and you're like, you know what, I want to quick sell them. I would be wary of doing that just because realistically, you're kind of giving up value by doing that. Like I know I just pulled a simple present. That sucks. I wish I could pull something better, but if I quick sold that present and just kept on chasing, kept on chasing, trying to get something better, realistically, I'm probably going to end up down. So that's kind of my strategy with presents. I'm holding on to every single one. I'm opening every single one. So yeah, that's going to do it for me for today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully this one helped you out a little bit. Hopefully it was entertaining. Worst case scenario. Hopefully there were some good vibes in it. And that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys Guys all have a wonderful day. Just want to quickly say I appreciate you guys so, so very much for the love on the channel. You guys make my day every single day. I can't believe this is my full-time job and I hope I can do it for as long as possible. So thank you guys so very much for the love. Let's hit 200k hopefully soon, maybe like two or three weeks. That'd be lit. And that's going to do it for me. I'm out. Love y'all boys. Peace.